Hey there, Heather Boyd here and welcome to my art channel. So this is a companion video for the video I did on my Heather Boyd wire channel where I made the wire work around this picture frame with this little uh, dragonfly uh, dangling down. And so in this video today, I'm going to show you how to do the painted surface, which is basically using the acrylic inks to make an abstract design on the glass. And I've actually, uh, there's two pieces of glass put together. Uh, so, and then the paint is in between the two pieces of glass. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then also on my wire channel, I made this little one, which is made with a little piece of the painting uh, that I did on the Yupo paper with the acrylic inks. So I'll link up below uh, this live stream replay and I'm gonna show you how to paint on the glass with acrylic inks now. So I'm gonna play around with the inks on this. We're just gonna put like random drops around. I'm not gonna worry too much about the design. I just wanna fill up all the whole area with color. And I don't wanna put too much the dark so I'm just gonna do like little dabs like that instead of like really dropping a lot on there because I found that it got really really dark with that before so we'll put some more of some of the teal on there and you know you can squeeze a bottle a little bit if you're not getting enough ink out of there and you can put like some on top of it and just play around with it we're gonna keep it very abstract this time just to you know see how we do with it and I'm not going to put on alcohol because I don't want it to get too diluted either so we'll just go ahead and pour this on try to fill up all our little nooks and crannies and it's going to be you know really pretty really organic and then we can also get some metallics going on there as well so we have this uh, brass metallic I've got a copper one too. Sometimes it gets a little stuck so just like wipe the end off if you find that the metallic ones are getting a little stuck. That's not a problem at all because sometimes these ends do get a little blocked. So just go ahead and keep playing with it. Mix your colors a little bit and we'll keep it nice and vibrant and just play around with it until you're happy with it. And I'm still waiting on my extender. I ordered some of the um, uh, extender in the, by Amazon, so hopefully that'll be coming soon. And I'll play around with that and see what kind of results I get. So we'll just keep playing, make it really fun, and fill up all the little blank spots. I don't really want any of the glass showing through. And just to kind of like Put some nice little spots let's put some more dark in there just a little bit just to bring out some of the contrast because it's nice when there is a little bit of contrast going you can even do little swoops if you want and you might start seeing little things in your design and it might just remain abstract you just never know so and depending on what color is beside each other then you could get different combinations and um of colors like some get quite dark in there as well so I really love this pink I'm gonna do a little bit more pink in there just try to fill up all the little areas and they're gonna to start to bleed together we'll just get a little bit more of some of the other colors here just to play around with them and they're looking very very organic and I like the bright colors. You can, you know, add more and make it more muted. Uh, whatever you like. I love that teal color. It's just so gorgeous. Really, really pretty. So we're just going to keep going with it. And it kind of like grows and, and you know, does all kinds of interesting things. So you can, you can just leave it like that to dry if you're happy with it. And then um, once it's dry, we're going to put the two panels of glass together and make kind of a interesting um, combination thing so there we go we're just going to add a little bit more yellow brighten it up a bit see when you when you see it needs a little more brightening you can just go in with the with the different uh, yellows and brighter colors and then if you you know want to dull it down again you can go ahead and and add some other colors to it too and so you just watch it grow 
Uh, so interesting. You could do this forever and then at one, one point when you're happy with it, you can just stop and then decide that that it's finished. So I'm just going to keep playing around a little bit more and then when I see that it's that it's good, I'll just stop and maybe just bring a little more of the gold or the brass in there. I like a little bit of the of the metallic. Looks really cool. And we're just going to play around. This one's getting really light in here, so I might just go ahead and do a little bit more in there just to darken it up. And just blend it up a little bit and see what it does. Yeah, you really could do this forever. There's just no no limit type of thing. And uh, it's really hard to know when to, when to stop. But when you see that your composition is good and you're happy with it, then you can just uh, put the brakes on. And if you want, you can lift it a little bit and kind of go around like this, push it around a little bit. You can even like get a straw and blow on it if you want and just play around until you're happy with it. You can also let it dry a little bit and then when it's a little more dry you can go in and add some more uh, colors to it as well.